Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about getters and setters in PHP. Now, getters and setters are basically special functions that we can create inside of our PHP classes, which allow us to control the access that people have to the attributes of those classes. So I understand that that definition might not make any sense, um, but in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why getters and setters are useful and how we can use them in our classes. So first, let me just show you guys what I have down here. I created a class, it's called movie, and this class has a title and it has a rating. So it has two attributes, title and rating, and then down here I just created a constructor so we can pass in a title and a rating and then those values get assigned to the object attributes. Then down here, uh, like right below the class, I created a movie object. So it's just called Avengers and it's just the Avengers movie and it's rated PG-13. So pretty simple. Basically, we're just creating a movie inside of our program. So this is pretty cool. And then down here, I was printing out the Avengers rating just to kind of prove that everything works. So I want to talk to you guys about one potential problem that we might run into with this movie class. Let's say that we're designing a program that is going to be able to work with and store a bunch of different movies, right? And one of the things about a movie is that every movie has a rating, right? So this movie is PG-13. Some other movies are like G, R, um, PG, N, R, right? There's a bunch of these different ratings that we can give to these movies. Now here's the thing, there's really only like a certain number of valid ratings for a movie, right? We have like G, PG, PG-13, R, and then NR. So NR would be like not rated, right? I mean, for the most part, these are all of the like valid ratings that we can give to a movie. Maybe there's some other ones, but let's just say that these are the only valid ratings that we could give to a movie. Well, here's the problem with this movie class is that over here, I could actually give this a invalid rating. So I could come over here and I could give this a rating of like dog, right? Just some random word. And now when we print out the rating, you'll see we're printing out dog. So I was able to give this movie a rating that wasn't one of the like valid ratings. And if you're just creating like a simple movie class, you might not care about that. But if you're designing like a real application that's gonna be able to store and work with movies, you might wanna limit the ratings that these movies can have. So you might not want this movie to be to have a rating of dog, right? You might want it to only be able to be one of these valid ratings over here. And up until this point, we haven't really talked about how we can control what values can be stored inside of these object attributes. But we're gonna talk about that right now. So I'm basically gonna show you guys how we can make it so the user can't give the rating a value other than G, P, G, P, G, 13, R, or N, R. We're basically gonna tighten down this class and make it so the rating can only have a certain number of values. So in order to do this, we're actually gonna have to do a couple different things. So I'm gonna change this back to PG-13. The first thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to modify this rating attribute. So up here in my program, you'll notice I'm creating my rating attribute. I'm just saying public dollar sign rating. And so right now, down here in my program, I'm able to access the rating, right? I can print it out, I can modify it if I wanted to, I could basically do whatever I wanted to it. But the first step in controlling what ratings can get put in here is gonna be to cut off access to this rating attribute. So I basically wanna make it so I can't print out the rating attribute, so I can't modify the rating attribute, so I can't do anything to it. So for example, like right now, I could come over here and say Avengers rating is equal to dog. There's nothing stopping me from doing this. And over here, it's the same thing, it's dog, right? What I wanna do is make it so I can no longer do that. And what we can do is we can come up here and we can make this a private attribute. So this brings me to the first point that I wanna to talk to you guys about in this tutorial, which are called visibility modifiers. And a visibility modifier is basically a keyword that's going to tell PHP what code is able to access and use different attributes in our programs. Now, you'll notice over here that I have this public keyword right here. And what this public keyword means is that this attribute is visible to any other code in my PHP program. So when I say public over here, it means I can come down here, I can give this rating a value, and I can print out that value onto the screen. 
public is essentially just like it's open to everybody. So everybody can access it, everybody can modify it, everybody can do whatever they want to it. Uh, previously in this course, we were using this keyword there. And I intentionally use this keyword there just because I didn't want to talk about these visibility modifiers until this tutorial, but there basically does the same thing. So there and public um, for the most part are kind of interchangeable. Generally though, in like modern day PHP, you're going to be seeing people use this public keyword. Again, I wanted to introduce that in this tutorial. So that's why we were using there in the previous tutorials. But whenever I say public and then specify the attribute inside of a class, it basically means that this attribute is open to the world. It's open to everybody. But what we want to do with this rating attribute is we want to tighten it up. So we want to make it so that nobody can access it outside of this movie class. What I could do is I could come over here and I could give this a different visibility modifier called private. So I could say private rating. And basically what this means is that any code outside of this movie class now. So in other words, any code outside of these open and close curly brackets isn't going to be able to access the rating directly. So down here, we're not going to be able to set the rating like this and we're not going to be able to print it out. So if I came over here and I refreshed my program, you'll see we're getting this fatal error. It says cannot access private property movie rating. Basically, it's telling us like, hey, that movie's rating is private, so you can't access it anymore. And like I said, when we set something as private, it means that only code inside of the class that it's declared is able to use it. So for example, down here, we're able to set the rating just fine, right? We have no problems doing that. It's because this code is inside the movie class, but any code that's outside the movie class isn't going to be able to mess with this rating attribute. So that's the first step in order to make it so we can only set specific ratings on this movie. The second set is going to be creating something called a getter and a setter. And getters and setters are special functions that we can write inside of our classes, which will allow the user to set the attribute. So it'll allow the user to essentially do something like this, and it'll allow the user to get the attribute essentially do something like this. So because rating is private, I can't set it directly anymore, and I can't get it directly anymore down here to print it out. So what we can do is we could actually come up here and we can create some functions. So I'm gonna come up here and create a function and I'm just gonna call this get rating. And what this is gonna do is it's basically just going to return this rating. So whenever somebody calls this get rating function, it's basically gonna give them the rating. And so down here, I'm actually just gonna get rid of this line of code. If I wanted to get the rating and print it out, instead of saying avengers.rating, remember this is throwing an error, we can't do this. What I can do though is I can say avengers arrow get rating, and now I should be able to get the rating even though the rating is private. So you can see now we're able to get PG-13. So I can get the rating using this get rating function. I can also create a set rating function. So I could come down here say function and I can just call this set rating. And this set rating function is actually going to take one parameter. It's going to take one argument up here. I'm just going to call this rating. So we're going to allow the user to pass in a rating into here. And then down here, what I can do is I can say this rating is equal to rating. So I'm setting the rating for this object equal to the rating that got passed in. And basically this will allow me to update the rating. So with this set rating function, I could come down here and I could say like Avengers set rating and I could technically give this any rating that I wanted. So if I wanted, I could give this a dog, right? And basically what this is doing is it's allowing us to set the rating and get the rating even though the rating itself is private. So up here, rating is private. We're not able to access it outside the class, but by using this get rating function and this set rating function, I can both get it and set it. So now that we have these set up, we can actually start enforcing some rules. So 
like I said, the goal is to make it so we can't do this. So we can't set the rating equal to something that's not G, PG, PG-13, R, or NR, right? That is the overall goal of this tutorial. And so what I can do is inside of this set rating function, I can actually enforce that rule. So over here, instead of just saying this rating is equal to rating, I'm gonna get rid of this. And instead, I'm gonna put an if statement in here. And I'm gonna check to see if the rating that they passed in is one of the valid ratings that we specified down here. And if it is, then I'll let them set the rating. But if it's not, then we can do something else. So I'm basically gonna create an if statement. And inside of this if statement parentheses, I basically wanna check to see like I said, if the rating that they passed in is one of the valid ratings. Now there's a couple of different ways that we could check this. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a bunch of or statements. So I'm basically gonna say, if rating is equal to G or rating is equal to PG, et cetera. So I'm gonna go off and create one of these for each one of those ratings and then we'll come back and see how it looks. So I actually went ahead and I created this like super long if statement. And honestly, there's easier ways that we could do something like this. Um, but just for simplicity's sake, I wanted to do it this way. So down here I said, if the rating is equal to G or the rating is equal to PG or the rating is equal to PG 13 or the rating is equal to R or the rating is equal to NR. So if it's equal to one of these ratings, in other words, if it's a valid rating, then down here we can basically just say this rating is equal to rating. And the reason I'm doing this is because if it passes this if statement condition, that means it's one of the valid ratings, so we can just go ahead and set it, right? That means that they passed in a valid rating and we're good to go. Otherwise though, I'm gonna create an else block over here. If they didn't enter in a valid rating, why don't we just say this rating is equal to NR. So why don't we just pass it in NR? So let's say if they try to enter in a rating of like dog or some other nonsense, then we're basically just gonna say the movie's not rated because they didn't give us a valid rating. All right, so the whole point is that now if I wanna set the rating to something like dog, it has to go through this set rating function. And when it goes through that set rating function, we have this if statement, which is gonna filter out all of the invalid ratings and set them equal to NR. So now essentially what's happening is when I run this program, even though I passed in dog over here, now when I print out the rating, it's gonna be NR. And that's because I passed in an invalid rating, it didn't make it through that if statement, and it just got set to NR. But if I set a valid rating, like if I set this equal to R, now it's gonna be fine with that. So it's basically just gonna be able to print out R because hey, that's a valid rating, right? All right, so that's basically how that setter is gonna work. And there's actually one more thing that we have to do. So there's one problem with this program the way it is, and it's this constructor. So the way that we have the program written, I could come over here and I could still set this equal to dog, by passing it into the constructor. And you'll see over here, it's still able to be set to dog. So the last thing that we can do is just come up here to this constructor and instead of saying this rating is equal to rating, we can just say this set rating and we can pass in rating into here. So now every place where this rating gets set is going through this set rating. So now we're not gonna be able to get away with putting dog inside of the constructor. Now it's gonna be set to not rated like that. So this attribute is officially locked down. We officially cannot give a movie an invalid rating. It's impossible for me to do that. I cannot give a movie a rating other than NRR, PG-13, PG, or G. Even if I try to, like even if I come over here and pass it into the constructor, or I come down here and you know I say like, Avengers set rating and I, you know, pass in some nonsense string. That's not gonna work, right? And the way that I was able to do that was I made this attribute private. So I set rating equal to private and I created a getter function and I created a setter function. The getter function basically just returns the rating and the setter function has this if statement which is gonna filter out any bad ratings for us 
and just set them equal to nr. And then finally, up here in the constructor, I called that set rating function. So that is basically how we can use getters and setters. And one important takeaway from this tutorial was public and private. Again, um, before in the tutorial, I was just using this var keyword. And again, I was just using that because I wanted to explain public and private in this tutorial, and I didn't want you guys to get confused. Um, but for the most part, people are only gonna be using public and private. You won't see people using var too much, although you can use it. Um, but remember, public means that the attribute is open to anybody, any program, anywhere. Private though means that only code inside the movie class is gonna be able to access this attribute. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.